It's, it's super cheap. It's from China. And for some reason I ordered it while I was here. So this is Eugene Lin, business designer. <laughs> You're getting an impromptu. <laughs> now you are. Sorry. I don't... <laughs> that is uh, Toby. Uh, so all three of us, uh, myself included. The, I guess uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be interviewing myself at this point. So. All right, who are you? Uh, my name is Aram Armstrong. And uh, I'm getting some help from uh, some of my cla uh, classmates and uh, co-workers uh, to talk about, so... Is this, that's this, this, isn't, this isn't autofocus, right? No, it isn't autofocus. So that's focus, I think, and that's aperture. This is focus right here? The front? I think the front is focus. Yeah, okay, okay. If you see okay. my face in red... Yeah, yeah, okay. That means I'm okay, in so focus. It's... So, All right. um, so where did you go to school? So where did I go to school? Okay, so I'm an interaction designer at IDEO. IDEO is a design consultancy based here in Palo Alto, but we have offices all over the world. I went to school. Um, so I went to school in a couple of places. I went to undergrad in Minneapolis. A group in Maui went to Minneapolis for art school. And then from there, I ended up going to grad school in Italy. So I kind of hopped around different places in the world. So what did you do in school that prepared you for your job? Oh, are you uh, reading questions? <laughs> okay, okay. Just... All right, so for my job, uh, I, so actually in school, I, I've always done digital stuff. Like uh, in high school, it was um, weird computer graphics that I did at our, our high school yearbook cover in Photoshop, <laughs> Painter, uh, and it all much of stuff that got me, uh, made a portfolio that got me into art school. And then, um, so I've always been doing, just like playing with computers and art and that intersection of things. Um, the question is how something prepared me for my job, school prepared me for my job. Yeah, yeah. So I've always just been, I've always been sort of doing digital stuff and as an interaction designer, that's what we do. We design uh, websites, iPhone apps, uh, services, experiences, um, the UI, your user interface to uh, your TV, uh, your cheap camera. And so um, I guess, anyway, school prepared me in that I studied what I'm doing. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> so you went to school to do what you do? Yeah, I, I've always been a, a geek and with a party sort of vibe. How did you know about which path you wanted to take? Did you need to problem solve to find this path? Uh, I don't think I was a problem solver. I was uh, more of an opportunist. When did you know? When did you know you you wanted to do interaction design? Uh, I actually I didn't want to do interaction design in college. I came to do digital media, which was more about uh, arts, and I got forced into doing design, and uh, I didn't know what design was <laughs> at that point in time. But uh, I, through at first I thought design was uh, just um, working for the man, like doing uh, business cards and. Um, I don't know, my, my impression of design in uh, undergrad was very much focused on the design of uh, pretty things. Uh, when I went uh, to grad school, I learned about a uh, broader definition of design, which is about solving problems. So as an interaction designer, um, it's more about understanding uh, people's needs. This is what we do at IDEO too. So it's all very much the same thing. Understanding people's needs, uh, designing services uh, to help them improve their life or do stuff that they couldn't do before or just make things easier to use. Uh -huh. so. so what was your was your major necessary for what you do in your job right now? It was very helpful. Um, the school I went to in Italy, uh, Interaction Design Institute of Ibrea, was actually started by uh, one of the guys who founded this company and so kind of uh, just sort of brought me in. I was very much uh, lucky to be at a school where uh, this uh, design thinking process, which is what we do at, at IDEO, was being taught to uh, students. So that really helped. So for people who didn't go to your school, what are the requirements for your job? And what does IDEO look like from yeah, college? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta ask it more naturally, man. <laughs> 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 natural. Like it's like a real interview, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe this is a good question. I mean, you just recently joined IDEO. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. Uh, so uh, I know it hires a, a bunch of different people. Um, so Toby's a business designer, but, but she's also studied engineering and uh, did an MBA. MBA. Yeah. Uh, in China, right? Yes. Yeah. 
And so I did a MF, I did a BFA, and then a master's bar. So uh, Idea looks for a bunch of people with different backgrounds. We uh, generally kind of broad generalists <laughs> with uh, some interesting uh, depth. So my depth is interaction design. Your depth is business modeling. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So they can get business models very abstract. It's even worse than interaction design. <laughs> but um, so Toby makes sure that uh, things that I, I design make money. Yes. That's one way of putting it. Very dramatic questions. But uh, I'm not the interview subject. <laughs> okay, okay. I was just trying to bring in some more context. The, light, um, the lighting is not so good this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. We'll, we'll switch back to over go here. Back. So okay. let's talk about your career. My career. What do you do? Uh, I think I, I might have covered this already. Okay. Uh, but Give an overview of your day-to-day -day and your key responsibilities. <laughs> so IDEO is a project-based, uh, well, we work on uh, projects. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what, kind of, what kind of problems do you solve at IDEO? World hunger. <laughs> Big ones. <laughs> uh, getting Chinese people to buy crap. <laughs> yeah. No, all, all sorts of stuff. So IDEO, um, the great thing about uh, working at IDEO is that we tackle a lot of uh, different types of problems from, um, uh, yeah, uh, like uh, financial products, like uh, if you uh, use Keep the Change at Bank of America, we designed that program in a way. Um, we also designed... <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah. um, we've designed products uh, like uh, the Xylus mm -hmm. uh, kitchen tools. Um, my day to day, so my day to day uh, varies from day to day because I'll be on a different project for uh, a few weeks to a few months. Uh, right now, I'm designing um, interfaces for anal analysts. Um, and previous to that, I was thinking about the future of shopping in China. Previous to that, I was uh, thinking about um, point of sales, the little, those little credit card readers, what that interaction is like. So it's been, it varies quite a bit, but every day I sit down with my team in our product space and uh, think about stuff and we design, uh, we sketch stuff and uh, eventually we design and do a lot of writing around our designs to try and justify <laughs> what we did. And then we present that stuff to our clients because we're always, um, as a consultancy, we, our clients come to us for help with uh, their problems, but they're, they end up being the implementers. So we give them a vision, help them guide, help guide them, but um, we're not involved in like the, like the manufacturing of everything or the hard coding and stuff. How's, how's that different from other consultancies? Uh, what kind of consultancies, like McKinsey or? I don't know, other project-based consultancies. I don't know what you like mean. I've always worked at IDEO, so I'm not a yeah. good, uh, Why don't we ask you that? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Eugene. dude, no, dude. Yeah, poor Peter. It's Eugene. He's been at a couple of places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Investment banking. But it's a human-centeredness, right? It's yeah, like so, other, okay. other places don't do that at all. Yeah, so what was my answer? Oh, human-centered design. <laughs> uh, which is the part of the kind of going out and talking to real people and understanding what their needs are and uh, synthesizing that into some kind of framework that makes sense and gives us design principles, which is basically like the rules of why or how you should be designing something. And um, yeah, so human-centered design. It's all about understanding human needs, whether they're you know, very visible or you're inferring them from how they act and what they do. So human-centered design. Yeah, it's the core of what we do. I'll send you to our, our website and you can learn all about that. There's a, toolkit that can teach you our method knowledge. So what do you like about your job? Uh, it's extremely rewarding and interesting. Like uh, a lot of different types of projects. Different. Uh, I'm learning all the time. Um, I've learned, yeah, I've, I've forgotten so much. <laughs> <laughs> so much that I've had to forget. I can I continue forgetting these things just to be fresh. Um, and what don't you like? Uh, what I don't I like? Uh, so you wish you could change. I do travel a lot, which was kind of cool at first, and now it's kind of tough. And so I'm based in Shanghai. I'm here in Palo Alto on a project. Uh, we go to our clients in D.C. once a month. Uh, I'm married, and like we have cats, and that's just 
difficult. <laughs> so, uh, being being around is it's kind of exciting. You think being it's all exciting, but actually it's not. You spend a lot of time in airports and uh, overnight sometimes uh, in crappy hotels or sometimes nice hotels, but hotels are hotels. After a while. Are there any perks in your job? Uh, working with cool people. <laughs> And uh, they feed us pretty well. Um, and uh, a, a big work is actually traveling. I've seen world, parts of the world I wouldn't have otherwise. Work with people. I've seen organizations like um, Singaporean government, and um, uh, here in the states, worked with AOL. And so I've seen a lot of companies that I wouldn't have been exposed to. That's been very interesting. So about leadership. Um, <laughs> Impact has four main leadership skills, collaborating productively, completing projects effectively, communicating powerfully, or thinking critically. Okay. Which one, or all of these, have you found in your job that you job? Is this a question that you came up with yourself? No. no. Oh, these are provided for yeah. you. Okay, yeah, they're, yeah. they're questions asked of you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, leadership. Uh, so, I would say clear communication skills are pretty key. I mean, uh, Eugene Holden Camera is a good project lead, so he's, he's, he lets you know what he expects of you. <laughs> that was uh, nice slave, slave driver. <laughs> but uh, no, being able to also reconcile different uh, working styles and uh, being able to manage client expectations. I mean, being a, being a leader is kind of setting the vision um, and kind of setting your team up for success is, is how we call it, but uh, it is about creating an environment where uh, people are able to um, just, like, work on their strengths and also work on their weaknesses, but uh, kind of dividing the workload, being a good mediator of like, um, what clients want, what your team uh, has the time and the skills that, that they're good at doing, and um, you know, being a leader. Yeah. I'm working on it. <laughs> Leadership skills. It's a good one to cultivate, though. Are we done? Yes. All right. You're about to wrap up. Is, that? Is that 10 minutes? That's 12 minutes. Right. 12 and a half. Any final Any parting? Parts? Yeah. Uh, for more information, visit www.idea.com. <laughs> and uh, 